All right, it's time to start editing this episode of Dongan Rompa. Let's get start. Wait, uh, um, there should be audio here. Why is there no audio here? Um, what? <laughs> Well, it looks like you're trying to edit this week's episode of Dongan Rompa, but what's this? The audio seems to be missing. Well, what could have happened to that? Uh, truth be told, I'm not entirely sure myself, but, uh, well, have fun editing, buddy. Bye, Anara. Oh, God damn it, Monokuma. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Well, at least I have some sort of backup audio. Jeez. Hey everyone, it's James, and uh, in addition to the rather glaring issue that uh, you guys just saw a dramatic reenactment of, uh, this episode just proved to be an absolute nightmare to edit, largely due to the fact that John and my recording setup for these first couple recording sessions was incredibly weird and janky and bad. So, for the first couple recording sessions, we were essentially both playing the game at the same time in two completely different locations, and we were just on a voice call with each other, and that's what we were recording. So it was very easy for the two of us to become completely desynced, and in this really convoluted and complex trial, that happened a lot. So eventually, I've just decided here that it's just going to be way too much of a pain to try and edit out all of the individual little desyncs and hiccups that we run into along the way. So I've just decided that I'm going to just leave this episode largely unedited and just have the entire trial here for you guys to watch. Technical difficulties and all. I hope that's alright, and I promise that future class trials are not going to be this way. We've already actually recorded the second class trial all the way through at the time that I am recording this right now, and we've already managed to fix our recording setup so that we don't get any desyncs anymore, and the whole process has been massively, massively improved. We've learned a lot from this difficult experience, so I promise you guys that future episodes are going to be a whole lot better. So, I thank you for your understanding, I apologize for the massively long and unedited video and the various technical issues that you're probably going to notice along the way, but hopefully once we get through all that stuff you guys will still be able to enjoy the series and have a lot of fun with us here. So without any further ado, here is the first class trial. Alright, anyway, all right. so y'all, you're on finished preparations now? Yeah. All right, so we'll give it a long second after each voice line, at, like after they finish talking, and then pause if we if anybody interjects. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's begin for Judge with a basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. Sounds like he's talking a little quiet, like more quietly than usual here for some reason. I don't know why that is. Well, he's an official judge right now. He's got to be more formal. <laughs> yeah, sure. If you can figure out All right, moving who on. done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one... I'll let you go anyway. He's a nice guy. He's, I'm a teddy bear. Yeah. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really yeah, is okay. us, right? Well, if you, where have you been? Yeah, <laughs> Shut I up, mean, Makoto. I mean, you know, he's just making, just gotta make, like, quadruply sure. Just because you have main character I just doesn't mean you get to ask stupid questions. Or repeat back questions other people are asking. Which I think is something they tend to do in this game. <laughs> okay, God! Everyone Damn it, Ishimar. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Uh. Be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? <laughs> Thank and, you, Mondo. <laughs> yeah. Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? Sure thing, female Edgeworth. <laughs> What's going on with those pictures? 
I mean, they, they are they are obviously the dead. I mean, what else can you think of? Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship penetrates. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. Oh God, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get this guy off my screen. All right. Okay, but. What about that other empty seat? Oh, Celeste. There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Hmm, interesting. Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Someone else died, didn't they? <laughs> or maybe this, or maybe he's just, you know, this room was originally part of Host Peak and he's just repurposing it. You know, so, like, it, it was originally made for some completely different purpose. Hmm. Okay, mm. that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. The preamble? You mean the We the People's United States? No, okay, I'm done. No, this is Japan. <laughs> First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. Didn't we just do that? Or already said all rise. It's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Let's do this awesome dolly zoom to my body. <laughs> yeah, I love I love the dolly zoom effect. It's so cool. <laughs> anything I found, anything I noticed, I have been ready to speak up. Of. I have to be ready to speak up about everything. I also have a speech impediment in my own head. <laughs> because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Yeah, first non-stop debate was about to begin. Would you like to hear more? You're gonna say uh, absolutely, cause have, cause I have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> All right, as things pro progress during each class trial, you would engage in a number of non-stop debates. Oh boy. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Now, if one of the pictures starts talking, well, you'll just run the fuck away. <laughs> yes. I like how Ishimaru is in between the two dead people. Yeah, I mean, that's that's gotta be really unfortunate. I mean, Makoto's next to his dead girlfriend. That's probably not that great either. He, no, he's next to his dead girlfriend and he, Hifumi. Oh, no, no. I'd imagine God, that's no. just about as bad. Who put me next to him? Ugh. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. And that will be loaded into the truth mousetrap board game. I don't, oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just naming random stuff. Use the mouse to aim, then fire with the left mouse button. Wait, we actually have to shoot tr literal truth bullets? Yep. That was just a metaphor. Nope. Beautiful. It's based on Nico Nico, actually. Uh, the Nico Nico video service actually allows people to type comments in real time, and they fly across the screen. And in order mm. to get, and if if people just spam, there is a way to get rid of those comments just by clicking on them, and then they they blow up and fly off the screen. By the way, I like how like when so when one character goes off screen, they turn black, but then the next the next the next character just put renders in. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's actually because that was how they that's how they get the like when when they're showing the back of a character, they don't have models for the back of a character, so it just shows like that's a right. silhouette when you're looking from behind them. There's just some slight imprecision with determining when we're looking at the character from the back. Like, uh, I think, you, like, you're right, it should, like, start rendering the character on the left earlier and stop rendering the character on the right later, like, once they're completely out of view, but that's just, I think that was always the yeah. way it worked, even in the PS Vita and the PSP version. Interesting. So just a slight hey. imprecision. Hmm. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. This is going to take a long time for me, isn't it? 
They give you a long time. You'll see. <laughs> if you press the escape key during these ar arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Thanks, uh, narrator. Here we go. <laughs> Get ready for the music. Oh, Make boy. your argument. Holy sh! I'm Evidence busy. of a struggle. Oh. Alright, All right, so my controls are different. So, uh, I don't know what your Press tab, hold tab real quick, and see what it does. Tell me what it does. Uh, nothing. Okay, try, hold shift and tell me what it does. Nothing. Try space. Whoa! Everything went yellow. Did it slow down, or did it speed up? Um, it's the same thing. Like everything went yellow and oh my god, it just went th it just went through. I'm on Makoto right now. All right. It did not speed up. All right. Well, well, here down. press es it press escape because there's a couple more controls that you'll wanna that you'll wanna find out about. Okay. So like open it up and then it should give you a, a standard menu and then it'll be a prompt to sh to press a button to show the controls menu. Okay, that is left shift. Hello. All right. Mouse to aim. Uh, silencer is the right mouse button. Fast forward through argument is the left control key. Holy shit. Yep. Like, is it control? I'm on a Mac, so is it control or command? Uh, it's control. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes with PC, yeah, with yeah, PC yeah, yeah, yeah. rules, it's it is, the same It thing. is still control, I believe. Okay. Um, open handbook is F1. For me, that's function and then F1. Um... <laughs> Fire truth bullet, bullet is left, left uh, flashback is left mouse button. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what flashback means. I, as far as I know, that is completely irrelevant. What? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Select truth bullet is the mouse wheel. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Uh, the flashback is if you hold it. If you hold the left mouse button, you'll do flashback. Oh. But that's, that's not a mechanic we're going to even need for quite a while. So the okay. the number one thing is the select truth bullet and the uh, the number one most important thing concentrate. Yeah, concentrate is space is the, my space bar. Okay, so when you're concentrating, time slows down. You'll hear that everybody's voices sound like they're being slowed down on a tape recorder, like it just and and it'll it'll drain that little star meter. You know how you have a little bar that's full of hearts, and just below that is a bar full of stars. Okay. So that's the stars is your focus meter, and that's how you concentrate. When you concentrate, that drains very quickly. So concentrate yeah, is just a short little burst of slowdown to help you lock in your aim when you fire. Or say like there's a a, a statement that's moving off that you want to shoot, and you want to slow down time just so you can hit it just at the last second. That's also a good use for concentrate. Okay. Got it. All right, so now we can close out of this menu and you can read the, the text. All right. Huh? Something's off about what, what was just said. Because if Sayaka hadn't resisted at all, there's no explanation for what happened in my room. For this first debate, we'd like you to take a quick sidebar. Oh, also, look up at the very top right, the big white and black text. That's yep. your time. You have nine, you have ten minutes. Okay. If you're unable to spot uh, and refute someone's lies or contradictions, the argument will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear in a different color. Did you happen to notice? Uh, no, I was too busy wondering what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy trying to teach you the controls. Yeah. That represents a potential hole in a person's statement, a possible weak spot. Ooh. These weak spots reveal important, though not always inaccurate, section... Sections of a person's statement. All right. The truth bullets are only effective against these weak spots. Oh, well. So that means if you right. shoot white text, it's just gonna bounce. It's just gonna deflect and not do anything. So you have to shoot these old orange slash golden uh, pieces of text. Okay. So when you see one come up, take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. There's only one, I believe, in this in this non-stop debate, but in the later ones, there's multiple, and only one of them is wrong. Okay. So keep that in mind. 
Gotcha. Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding down the left control key. Okay, cool. Well then, good luck and have fun. All right. I like this narrator. Yeah, see, this narrator is encouraging. So, he you wanna, playing him. just go ahead and. Are you gonna fast forward? Um, or are you just gonna read through it? I'll just read through it because I totally missed what they said. All right. Three, two, one, go. Well, I'm already way in. She didn't even have a chance to resist. <laughs> so let's let it loop one more time, just so you can see. So you just let it loop? Mm hmm Alright, so now just, you can go through... Okay, so you can go to the If Psyche Hadn't Resisted... So you saw the the only weak point that's there. Mm -hmm. So now let's that's let's start. State. Yeah, let let's let's resume this at the same time. So we're in the because if Sayaka, right? Yep. Okay. I'm in, I'm there. All right. So let's advance uh, each text box at the same time, so that way we're synced up. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, two one, go. One. All right. It's starting. All right. So let's go ahead and watch this through one more time. And then get your cursor ready. You can see what statement we're currently on out of the total by looking at the little flashing icon on the right. Far right. That shows you which one. Alright, you ready? Yep. Let's do this. Got it. No, that's wrong. Soriwachi Gaoyo. Try to remember how my Try to remember how my room looked. Oh my god. It's so dramatic. I mean to be I fair To be fair, she wasn't I don't think she visited your room during the investigation. No, she didn't. She wasn't there. Yeah, so I think it's understandable that she got that wrong. But although right. I don't know why she would say she didn't have a chance to resist. That's a statement of completely non existent fact. Oh wow, I just hit the Q button and the entire hub went away. Oh, really? Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's uh that's the left bumper for me on my Xbox controller. Yeah, there is a way to hide HUD. I don't know what it's for, but as soon as you press any other button, it uh it brings it back. I think it's mainly for oh, taking okay. screenshots or just getting mm. a better look at a, a cool scene or a cool angle. Hmm. All right, moving on. With the way things have been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Good, good job, Sherlock. Between who and Take a wild guess. Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. Thank you. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. Good thinking, the Celeste. Followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at Yeesh. the scene. Morbid as always. <laughs> Just asshole as always. <laughs> Jesus. Why? Yeah. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Biakia. Oh, Not cool, Biakia. James, why do you mean to her? Hey, hey. I I resent <laughs> that character, by the way. <laughs> All right. Hey, move, you're you're moving the one who said on. it looks like just like you. <laughs> moving on. I know it does. Okay. So what's next? Okay. Good right, question, Weed Man. What's next? Next is the Ooh, subject of the God, murder weapon. I got her voice. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. It is a real trial, Hifumi. How was he not murdered already? <laughs> Luck. We need to determine what was used to kill Saeka. Uh, going dizzy. Oh, okay, all the dizzy. All right, make your argument. Kitchen Kitchen nice size. All right, let's try and get it on the first try, without so without a repeat. To kill her. Mm -hmm. there was some kind of sharp get your space bar ready so you can mm -hmm. slow down time. That is the murder weapon. That is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. Some random knife. Fire. Boom. No, that's wrong. No, that's Objection. wrong. Objection. Objection. Igiari. Igiari. Sorewachi Gaoyo. 
but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. A kitchen? Huh? Uh, yeah. A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives. <laughs> Everyone's like, when? <laughs> yeah. Which means that knife must uh, be the. Pretty sure half the people in this room have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort okay, of see the weapons you idiot. in the stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that. Yeah, kitchen good knife. job. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Ooh. Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof oh my do we need? Hold on a second. I'm at that time. I'm, I'm just gonna let the zoom in on him for <laughs> Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Hello? Yeah? Okay, good, you're still here. Just wanna make sure. Alright. Again, Kirigiri coming in with the, the truce. Mm. Well, we can talk all we want. Voice of reason. Yep. Conclusion. And voice of an idiot. <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. I'm starting to she's, like her more. She's just talking to me. She's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Shut the hell up. You really believe that? Speaking wow, of believing voice... things, Weed Man. His voice is real, a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Yeah. Ellipses. Oh, come on. You couldn't voice act the ellipses in there? Well, I mean, you did it pretty well. <laughs> She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere. Just waiting for us to find it. Probably through this dolly zoom that just happened. <laughs> because I know damn well I'm not the killer. Do you? Do you? Maybe he just starts suspecting himself. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely! Okay! You can concentrate by holding down the space key. Thank you. Yep. While you're concentrating, time will slow down and you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. <sighs> Hello, yawn. On top of that, I'll, it'll set it'll your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this is, consumes the focus gauge, and the game empties, you can't concentrate. If you ever tried doing your homework without a, without a focus gauge, it's very yeah. hard. Oh man, you need to drink like five Red Bulls. Oh my god. But the focus gauge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Wow. Yeah, you <laughs> have, so, you such... have ten freaking minutes. <laughs> oh my god. I have never, in, in at least in this game, I have never come even close to running out of time. Mm. Well then good luck and have fun. I wanna hop this now. Like, I, I, have guessed, I have guessed wrong enough times to, to get a game over, like to run out of hell, before I've run out of time. Mm. Alright, Owie's account. So I guess there's oh, no yeah. question that the kitchen knife was the murder dizzy, weapon. Dizzy dizzy dizzy! Make your argument. Owie's account. Correct, Leon. Dumb Leon. Nobody was in the dining hall. And then he went and stabbed Sayaka. Objection! So oh, I fu I missed. That's all right. I went past it. You know what? I think we should do one one full loop through before before we try and target it. Okay. So I get ahead of myself. Yeah. Just just so that way we make sure we're both synced up. Some way to prove I didn't take the knife. The person who was in the dining hall last night should be able to do it. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. All right, Where now we're ready. Us? Yeah. All right, come on. Objection! That's wrong. Break. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you can. What the hell is wrong with her? I mean, just constantly nervous, feeling persecuted. I mean, 
she's not being persecuted right now. He Makoto. No, no, is... she has a, she has a persecution complex, so oh, she thinks okay. she is. Sorry. Like, she, like she doesn't. You know, it, I I don't mean like she thinks she's the one who's being accused, but I mean like she just constantly thinks that people are hating her or being angry at her. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm on. Uh, well, what if I had a what? All right. Next. What do you think, Hina? Hina? Huh? Huh? Duh. Remember what <laughs> <you> were telling me earlier? <laughs> <laughs> were you telling me earlier? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea, I went back into the kitchen to wash my glass. One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... Oh no, shit! I don't think so. You don't think oh so. my god! <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> no, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Kino was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. Mm. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay. One hundred. Do we have a fingerprint scanner in this school? That would be really helpful. Nope. Okay. But what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? What a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, ooh. I mean, granted, we we made a lot of jokes like that in the first episode, but I mean, come on. You don't have to <laughs> say it to her face. It's just right there. Oh, and more importantly... Oh, yep, she's Oh, and happy. more importantly... Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear... Yeah, true, problems, true. Do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall mm. answer. Good question. Yeah, I don't like this. Murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So when what's the point of being an accomplice? People can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. That's exactly the point. There is none. What? If... There's no way anyone would work That's together, backwards. Right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Oh, you know, yeah, that's a valid you know. point. We didn't know that. Logic. Logic. Yep, there we go. Uh, good grief. Enough already. No, okay. There are no accomplices in this case. Okay then. Why are their profile pictures having seizures? Because he's angry. <laughs> he has a seizure when he's angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. Oops. Did I say that out loud? Well then. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. And I didn't take the knife. I did not. So I'm not the I did killer. not. I did not kill her. I, I did not true. kill her. It's bullshit. I did not kill her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Chihiro. <laughs> Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seemed the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the- Why would she incriminate herself like that, Celeste? Come on, explain that one. I swear it wasn't me. Sure. Plead the fifth, plead the fifth. Or anyone else prove that? I, I like the dramatic oh. pose. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Sakura to the rescue! That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea! Hmm. So we have uh, a second witness. I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's. What? What is he gonna say? Oh my god! <laughs> Did he not know? I don't understand that part at all. Right. Whoa. The guy, he's taking too many baseballs to the head. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Mm, Actually, good point, no. Weed Man. Because, um, well, 
Was the kitchen locked? Please tell me the kitchen was locked. Already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh. 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 I got so scared Moving on. those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over. Which means... You know, just ask the most well-trained person in the entire class. This <laughs> you stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school mm. regulations? Okay, We're not allowed true. to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. Oh boy, Apollo's not gonna like this. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? True, true. It's... it's... Unwholesome. Yeah, plus, what if someone gets really lonely one night? Hello? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm, I, I am, I'm a talker. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, oops! I just love his reaction. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, what an idiot. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Ooh. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, who was it? Who was it? The dining hall while we were there. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> well, because... Oh. Some, someone who's not here? Are you talking about? Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall, and then later, she wound up dead. Oh Nani? my God. Sayaka. Oh. My. Okay, so, so the person who took the knife was. Uh, I'm gonna say Sayaka. Yep. M Monokuma! Then I got it! Sayaka is the one who took the knife? <laughs> got it! That's the only possibility. This is his attorney. Harry, <laughs> Harry took one of their catchphrases. Gotcha! <laughs> well, actually, no, because this. Because Dual Destinies was the one that introduced Got It? Yeah, that's true. So, and this and game this... came out before that. I'm still gonna say, because I saw. I played Dual Destinies first. <laughs> All right, you know what? I hate to interrupt, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to switch video encoders because it seems like the one downside of the quick sync video is that the files are huge. Holy shit! Like I am now run, I am at risk of running out of space if I keep oh like my. if if I keep using this. Oh my god! So uh, give me a sec. I gotta restart the recording. And also, I have a question. I know it's halfway through the trial, but uh, do you think we could actually voice the characters? Because I'm having a lot of trouble staying in sync with you. Uh, Steve, I'm sorry, can you, your voice cut out there. What was your I was request? saying, I know we're like a quarter of the way into the trial, but do you think we could mute the voice volume and then just voice the characters ourselves? Because I am having an incredibly difficult time staying synced up with you. Like, okay, sure, not, yeah. not that it's your fault, it's just this doing it like this makes that really hard. And I think if yeah. we voice them, then we're guaranteed to be pretty close. Alright, no problem, no problem. Alright, so, and I, uh, I left my recording running for that, right, so. Right, right. I think if just for this uh, video, I'm just going to leave in a lot of these technical difficulties, just because mm -hmm. I feel like... Because uh, I don't want to have to start the trial over and just pretend that yeah, this whole thing true. didn't happen. So, I think we'll probably just make that change, and then we'll come back. So, I'm just lowering their voice volume? Uh, just mute their voice volume. Okay, cool. So, you can go into the e-handbook, into system, Yeah, options, I got it, I got it. And I'm going to drop their voice volume all the way to zero. And then return to the main menu. Then I'm going to stop my recording and restart it with a different codec. I mean, I started with the the Japanese voice acting, so mm -hmm. that's naturally what I prefer. But for all of the other games, I prefer the English voices. So interesting. 
All Honestly, right. I think I'll re I think I'll just like when we save this, I think I'll just save it to a different slot and replay it with the voice acting on because I want to hear it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's fine. Ugh. All right. So are we? All right. So I've got my recording set up. I've muted the voices, and we can go ahead and voice all of the characters. A rat, a rat, a rat. All right. So you're, are you at? I'm at Sakura saying that's the only possibility. Um, I'm think I'm at Sakura saying and thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. I think that's the next statement. After all right. Oh, you can still kind of hear their voice. That's annoying. You can't completely shut off the voice. Yeah. Oh, damn it. All right. Are you on um thinking back on it? Yeah. So three. Okay. So so let's just keep voicing them though. So just okay. pretend like you can't hear it, and maybe I'll try and edit it out in post. All right. All right. Three, two, one, go. She came into the dining hall. She didn't even look at us. She went went straight into the kitchen, and she left. She went to drink. Blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Off to a great start. God damn it! <laughs> Every time. All right. Ugh. I gotta breathe. I normally go. I go too fast. <laughs> All right. Whew. Next statement. But then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure. I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was taken from her, and she was killed with it. In that case, uh, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What an asshole. And what? Nani? <laughs> See? He did do it, after all! Oh my god. Why does everyone hate me? Everyone oh, hates Makoto. <laughs> we established this, first episode. No! No, you're wrong! Both the trial and you, James! No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Mm, you possess a most terrifying talent. Jesus. Damn! I don't know, if I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Good, good thinking. Don't they understand? If they convi convict me, everyone's gonna die! Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? I love her. Because, you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. Mm, and until mean? we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Why would Makoto frame himself? Yes. <laughs> Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Alright, pause. Uh, I need to... Mm. I'm just gonna boost my audio volume. Alright, BGM Maybe. volume. Loud? Oh yeah, what the heck? It got lowered. That's weird. It lowered my BGM volume. Okay, well that explains why it was weird. So now I'm just gonna lower the game volume so that it's normal. So that it's at the same level as before, but now the voices will be so quiet you can't hear it. <laughs> Alright, back here. Three, two, one, go. Something was missing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Something was missing. Yeah. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. We're professionals. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I don't know why it shows Kyoko's picture there. She is not the that narrator. Is, that is weird. <laughs> she is the ultimate Glitch. narrator. Your ultimate. first Hangman's Gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? I'm guessing yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, there we go. As things advance further in the class trial, the hangman's gambit will, ev will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around, and the letters already know. Ooh! To complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Ooh, this sounds creative. Use the mouse to aim, of course, and press left mouse button to shoot. Alright. Why does the narrator have an ellipsis? 
you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. Influence gauge is your health. Gotcha. If this gauge reaches zero, or if you run out of time. Memes. Well then, good luck and have fun! Good luck, GLHF. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Something that, sh something that should have been in the scene, but wasn't. That must be a crucial point. If we, if we can just figure out what that something is. Dolly Zoom. Oh, spinning around. And Hang this music scout. is awesome. I love this theme. Alright. H, H, uh... So, let me know when you think you know what the word is. And you got six minutes, so no rush. Nope, not A. Uh, not H, A? Come... Are you trying to shoot the letters yet, or? Yeah, oh, okay, gotcha, okay. Yeah, no. so the, depending on the color. I thought you just had to shoot them once. Yeah, no, depending on the color, the red ones you can shoot once, the yellow ones you have to shoot three times, and the orange ones are in between. Okay, cool. I got hair. Boom. Okay, let me do that then. Alright. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. No, right, hang on. I'm behind you. God damn it. Alright. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes, and if I were the culprit, I would leave every single shred of evidence. Wait. Yes. <laughs> I would inspect why every would... suspicious looking nook at wait. No, that's not right either. <laughs> no. Uh, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? Got it. Nailed maybe, it on the first try. Maybe he's just a clean freak. Maybe. It would be unusual for me to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Saika had ever been there. No, that's incredible. You know, aside stupid. from her no. body. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they Object. would have had to do something about the body itself, <laughs> not just the hair. Yeah, she's a... Yeah. I love... Oh my god. <laughs> yes, very true. Very true. <laughs> you were not thinking that the whole time. Look at your sweating bullets. <laughs> Okay, then why wasn't there hair, any hair on the ground? The killer got the killer rid of, got it, rid all, of it, of course, it all, To sorry. remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Oh, yeah. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? Yeah, it's, it's called basic logic. Fucking learn. <laughs> But are you sure we can decide something so important basically solely on the absence of some hair? That's also some good logic there, Apollo. No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. Look at that smirk. Holy crap. Yeah, I love... That's one of my favorite sprites. Right? Just... Oh, she's, she's doing the Edgeworth finger thing. <laughs> Is she? Like, you know, yeah, I mean, I, it looks like it. I mean, since they're uh, still images, but... I don't know. Like, when she crosses her arms like that, like, Edgeworth, Edgeworth taps his finger on his shoulder. Oh, maybe. Mm. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything you remarkable remember anything? about the bathroom at the scene? Uh, yeah, there was a dead body in it. Yes. There was indeed. a problem right there. <laughs> there. Therefore, Makoto cannot be the killer because of the dead body. <laughs> I present my attorney's badge, Your Honor. <laughs> Saika was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, and then she ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And right. how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Mm. What do you mean? Mm. It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. I it have was... the evidence to prove it, Your Honor. My attorney's bet. wait. <laughs> the answer is the updated autopsy report. Wait, no. Go. Hang on. Ten uh, minutes later. Hey, there it is. I found it. <laughs> right. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? 
killer struggle getting into the bathroom, and the effort th that proves it is this, this dolly zoom. zoom. <laughs> All right, there you go. So now this yeah, is just the pick killer, out of all the evidence we have. Just pick one. This is kind of like Ace Attorney here. Hey, look, a bath, a broken bathroom doorknob. All right, presents. Take that! I got it. Or got it. Wrong one. No, there's no take evidence, that. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting to the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? You know, the one that's on the door. <laughs> yeah. Huh? The doorknob? What door? Okay, yeah. I forgot I was voicing this guy. It's alright. Yeah. The doorknob from my bathroom, it was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed and the doorknob's ready to, about ready to fall off? Yeah. Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? Take a guess! In trying to bypass the no. lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. You always seem to read, uh, start to read Gary Giri's lines. I get like ahead of myself. Yeah, it's but it, but it seems like it's specifically Gary Giri for some reason. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I'm just Maybe because he okay? talks so much. I'm really into this, and I talk a lot too. So that's yeah. Awesome. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> but my. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Next. Okay. Next message. Yeah. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what, you're saying we wouldn't break the door in his own room? I said we, didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we'll see that later. But if the only choice you have is to break it, you have to break it! There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay then. Well, let's take another take that! look. Yeah, just ugh, facepalm. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully, that will help you understand. Just makes a Dolly zoom. <laughs> Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about nonstop debates, but you'd like to hear more. Yes. I'm guessing yes. Yes. From here on out, the number of weak spots will start going up. Oh, great! No matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in the debate. Then why are they weak spots? Uh, it said they're not necessarily wrong, they're just an important point in the conversation. So they're not necessarily wrong, it's just this is something important. Well, in that case, or it's they usually call weak something spots. important. In that case, the game shouldn't tell me they're called weak spots. Eh, I mean, they're meant to fake you out, so I think calling them weak spots is still appropriate. Hmm, yeah, that's true. But I'm trying to say- Why is the narrator trying to clarify himself? <laughs> what, I'm tr what I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet in, on, the wrong, on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. <sighs> oh, I'm getting tired. Ugh. Now this is important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are, are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun! <laughs> Don't die! You will! Moving on, let's go. Make your argument. Bathroom door frame. Alright, so let's let this run all the way through. The incident took place in Makoto's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled to the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. Sorry, I'm a little behind. Yeah. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. And finally, the culprit had Sayaka cornered. And to finish the job, they stabbed her with the kitchen knife. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? Admit it! We already know the answer! This bitch really hates me. <laughs> it's not because the door was locked. No, there's a different reason entirely. Alright, so uh, thanks for telling me exactly which statement I had to press. <laughs> Alright. 
take place in the Mogar's bathroom. Fourth the bathroom. Attack to the main room. Badminton. I got into the bathroom. Kill Ed. Kill Ed. Locked bust. it. Locked it. Come. Yes. Boom. No, take that's that. wrong. The reason the bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with the locking bathrooms, right? Because that makes sense. Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Oh god, the music just got louder for me all of a sudden. Did it? Yeah. Huh, weird, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Options. Uh, alright, alright, yeah, so. Now. Is it my. Uh, are you at Chihiro? No, I'm still on Sakura. Okay. Yes, now that you mentioned it, that is true. Then, why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? What you talking my about? Bathroom door, my bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. You see, whoever built that place was a fucking idiot. <laughs> Maybe there was an earthquake. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yup, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... <laughs> that's not lucky at all. I mean, it's proving my innocence right now, so yes, I'd be lucky. Yeah, I'd actually agree with you there. <laughs> so the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. And still somehow got in. Yeah. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone because the killer was a girl. Everyone should have known that you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Love that smirk. Love that dolly zoom. Yeah, boy. The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime is that they did that they didn't know was the crime scene took place in my room. Yep. Gotcha. The kisser must not have realized it was my room. The kisser. <laughs> that was what you Whoops. said. Damn it. What? What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where, where he was? That's inconceivable! Inconceivable! Oh, wow, I, was the, I was doing the right voice for that. Oh, Holy yeah. <laughs> and yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? <laughs> well... Okay, as much as I hate this guy, I love voicing. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then, well... Then there would have been a locked door. And they wouldn't have to break through. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless. So who has? A... <laughs> yeah. So who is what? So who who in this room has a really confused look on their face right now? I mean, a lot of them. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. So, the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switch rooms? Th then Makoto couldn't have done it! Wait, the next you. line. That's, that's what I've been trying that's, to tell you. That's what I've been trying to tell you! <laughs> I say in my head. <laughs> okay, then who did do it? I'm...
I'm sorry, this this guy's voice just <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> I heard the voice line just barely in the background. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. Um, no, that's the most frustrating thing ever. <laughs> I mean, unless you're speedrunning, in which case you do that all the time. But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Okay. Yeah, you cut out there for me. Ugh. Oh, my Wi-Fi sucks. I, I, I finished Chihiro's line. We're on Kiyotaka. Okay, cool. All right. Well, then why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. But uh, no, we just proved I wasn't the killer. That'll be like the worst thing, worst time to have the vote right now. Majority rules. Do you really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our next round. I need someone seriously needs to do something for serious. Unanimous vote. Yeah. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Is my shoe untied? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, I too have one question. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you. <laughs> oh, my wow, God. rude. I mean, I literally just made that joke, but come on. Yeah. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine, just ask your question. Oh my god, everyone's a dick. Oh yeah, okay, so... Um... Well, uh, I was just wondering... How the culprit get into the Makoto's room in the first place? That is a good question. Hmm. It's how did the killer get inside? Maybe say so get just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up? That's possible, right? Oh shit, hold on, I got a text I have to answer. Alright. Uh, but, but, but. Now they're asking when the stream's over. Shit. Uh, but, but, um. Also, you were starting to get a little bit quiet, I think, uh, like when you yeah, were that voicing. Was, yeah, sorry, I, I got the notification and I was like, uh, I was like doing two things at once. Yeah. I think what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna take your your voice recording and my voice recording and just overlay the BGM. Mm -hmm. So like like I'll I'll re-record or just find footage of the voice lines of the characters speaking their voice lines up until we switch, and then so that way I can make these jump cuts. That way I can just make jump cuts instead of having to make it look like a smooth fade because I can jump cut and then have the music still flow perfectly. And then okay. that way you won't hear the the character. That way, when we are voicing, you won't hear any of the the characters' Ooh. voices in the background, even slightly. Clever. And then that clever, way we clever. can just jump around as we need. All right. So let me know when you're done. And you're. I still. I think you still have to voice Taka's line. The it seems way too convenient. Okay. Oh wait. Oh no. They're getting food without me. What? Oh wait, hold on. Wait, mind if I step outside really quick? Uh, yeah. That's fine. Sorry. Yeah, I'll be right back, I promise. Oh god. Damn it. Hey!
All right, all right, all right. Okay, sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> yeah, my, my roommates are gonna get, like, midnight food, and oh, I'm dude, starving I right know now. that. I know that. We did that all the time when I was in the dorm. <laughs> Oh my god. That, was, that yeah. was the best part of everything. Yeah. So we just made uh, Walmart, like midnight Wal Walmart runs, because we had a Walmart mm -hmm. literally like just a couple blocks from the dorms. Or we just went to like the Little Caesars. It was freaking amazing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, uh, McDonald's here is open really late, so I asked them to get me the uh, random Mac because mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a fatty. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so you're on. I, I think you right. still need to voice. Ishimaru. I'm on maybe Sayaka. Oh, maybe Sayaka? Uh, what, yeah. Who's saying that? Leon. Oh. The killer. I mean, I'm not. No. <laughs> 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 all right. Maybe. All right. Three, two, one. Go. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and, and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. It seems way too convenient. Then. Maybe someone picked the lock? But then why would they break down the bathroom door if they could lock it? Pick it. Yeah. Negative. If you remember, Monokuna made quite clear that the locks are all unpickable because that's a thing. Fine. How about this? The killer got it in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Mezzono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Oh, no, please don't say that. <laughs> Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. Dolly Zoo! Whoosh. That's the answer right there. There's no way Psycho let someone in because, uh... Yeah, we switched rooms. Switch rooms, bitch! Take that! I got it! Gotcha! Because Psycho was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Same goes for, Same goes for you, Psycho. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone, even if it's me. Even if I'm sure it's you, I, I even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm also psychic, but mostly dead. <laughs> Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anybody. What if her being scared was a lie? Ooh. Huh? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? Well, Makoto angry. Ooh, Makoto having, smash. Yeah, Makoto's flash shaking up and down on the left. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't want to consider it, but look at but look at this and tell me, can you still deny the possibility? There's something I don't want to talk to you about. I mean, there's something I want to talk to you about. Just, just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates. Make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appeared. Oh my god. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. I mean, they do it on other shows, too. And the, I think they did that in an answer to your game once. When you write, when you write, oh well, wow, <laughs> I read that wrong. When you write, I can, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, "Holy crap! I better make sure I rip, rip the paper out before, or before I use it from now on." It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. I've done that once of, to figure out what my what my notes were yeah. in time. <laughs> oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Ooh. Huh? Nari? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Well, then, I mean, she cited Saeka, didn't she? 
Yeah. Then either it was <laughs> yeah. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. And signed it. So Makoto, did you write this? Uh, no, I didn't. But of course you didn't, because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Hey, boom, boy! <laughs> I think they there's supposed to be a, a, a shot of that where you can't see the signature. I mean, we saw it earlier, so... Yeah, but I, like, I think when they initially show it to you, you're not supposed to be able to see the signature, and then they show you the part with the signature. So, I don't know. Uh, I still saw it, so I mean... <laughs> yeah, so I think that's a glitch. <laughs> then, that note... Sayaka wrote it? I... Dude... <laughs> come on! But, well, why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. Her lover... Wait. <laughs> she must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from an ultra pop sensation, what young man could resist? Oh. I hate you and I love voicing. Of course, I'm only 2D, so it wouldn't have an effect on me. Then, uh, shut up. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Hmm? Huh? Oh. What makes you say that? Nani? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say after this quick dolly zoom? I mean, it is a testimony after all. Yeah. Very well then. Pay attention. Wait, this testimony. Zoom. Make your arguments. All right. Dorm nameplates. Dorm nameplates. All right. Let's oh, let it Mondo run. Mondo looks pissed. Let's let it run through. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, My Room. Ooh. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Saika's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words... Oh, no. So in other words, even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would have come to any... They would not have any connection to what happened. Hmm. Mm, certainly would seem that way. It's kind of hard to tell who's talking sometimes because the camera pans yeah. like to the left or right to show a new mm. character on screen. Yeah, really. Except it always the shows them on the right. The killer went to my room instead of Sayaka's, and the reason for that is... It has to be because as of what got switched between my and Sayaka's rooms. Alright, I think I know which statement. Yep. Uh, blah, 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 skip my room... Raccoon that Makoto was staying in. Fire! Boom. One of these times I'm gonna get this wrong. Nameplate on Sake, his rooms got switched. They got switched. <laughs> That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. Ooh. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Hmm. If someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room. Oh, I hit a button. Hang on. They would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. Yeah, just have to reach down. <laughs> yeah. And know. the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Why would I do that? Because you're right. the killer. Fuck! <laughs> okay, then who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms... Sayaka. Me! <laughs> what if I hit that? What would happen? Uh, you would take damage. Okay, don't want to do that. Sayaka. Sayaka, go! 
Gonna die. Zayaka were the only ones who knew about the switching rooms. So the only person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Saeka. You can also ins you can also infer as much from her note. You idiot. <laughs> There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Just the two of us. Five minutes. Come see me in my room. Check the nameplates. Make sure you won't get the wrong room, okay? Who was it addressed to? That's what I want to know. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplates. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? You're inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. Mm. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and it attacked her. I figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. But we still don't know who it is, goddamn idiot. <laughs> Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps mm -hmm. the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then we just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me, there was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was it perhaps used during the fight? Yeah, what's the deal with that sword? Saika suggested I should hold on to it. Thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely the killer used it to break Saika's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that the would broke her wrist? Dude, why are you so sweaty? Oh, no. <laughs> the reason I know Saika's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because... When you look at her wrist, there's no doubt... Dude, dude, can you hear me still? Yep. Okay, cool. Alright, I think it's... Her. I don't think it's her wrist. I Well, hang on. Let me check the evidence. Let's see. Hurry up. I only got five and a half minutes. Alright, let's see. <laughs> so, nah, I think it is the... Uh, I think it is Psychus' wrist. Alright, one way to find out. Boom! Boom. Gotcha. There we go. All we have to do is take a good look at a broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there on her wrist, it's all swollen. There's something glittery there, see? Is, no, I don't. Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch this stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's someone to wrist, because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her... I see, I see. The truth draws the ever close. Why so serious? Alright then, let's see. Time to solve this mystery. Split up and look for clues, gang! Alright. 